The Unified Forecast System Medium Range Weather Application version 1.0 includes a full workflow with pre-processing, a forecast model, and post-processing. In this video, you'll learn about the overall structure of the application source code repositories and where to find them. This is the main code repository for the app, and we'll return to it in a few minutes. I'd like to point out that the information discussed here is also available in the app's user's guide, specifically in section 3, which describes the code repositories and directory structure. This app consists of three components, preprocessing using ChangeRes Cube, the forecast using the UFS weather model, and postprocessing using the Unified Post Processor, or UPP. The source code and scripts used to build and run the forecast workflow are organized in a hierarchical repository structure, starting with an umbrella repository for the app and for two sets of required libraries. The various code repositories are hosted at github.com. If you are not familiar with Git version control or with github.com, please start by reviewing some introductory material listed in the slide, then come back to this video. I'll begin by reviewing the GitHub repositories for the required libraries, and then step through the various major components of the app. The two library repositories are pre-installed for you on pre-configured HPC platforms. If you are not using a pre-configured platform, you can install them yourself locally. Starting with nzeblibs external, this repository contains several external packages that are required by the app. If you are using one of the pre-configured platforms, you may skip this step. If you are not using a pre-configured platform, your system may already have some of these libraries installed, but to be sure you have a consistent set of library versions, we recommend installing this entire repository. NCEPLibs external uses git submodules to refer to the authoritative repositories for each library and a CMake-based build system. Instructions for installing these libraries can be found on the repository wiki page. The next umbrella repository, nceplibs, contains several utility libraries required by the app. For the app version 1.0 release, this library also includes the preprocessing and postprocessing source code. This umbrella repository uses git submodules to refer to the authoritative repositories for each library and includes a CMake-based build system. Instructions for installing these libraries can be found on the repository wiki page. The umbrella repository for this app contains several components which themselves are umbrella repositories, resulting in a hierarchical code structure. This repository contains the UFS weather model, the common infrastructure for modeling the Earth, or SEAM, case control system, and some interface utilities. The forecast model, in turn, contains several nested components. The app umbrella repository uses a tool called Manage Externals to define the external components of the repository and does not use Git submodules. This tool uses a configuration file called externals.cfg to define the external components. Each external component has an entry for its repository location, branch or tag, local path, and other details. The UFS weather model is the code repository containing the forecast model. It includes many submodules for various subcomponents. The UFS weather model uses git submodules for its external components. The .git modules file can be helpful to see which external repositories are being referenced. Note the several component repositories included in the UFS weather model. The FE3 component, in turn, includes two additional submodules for the Common Community Physics Package, CCPP, and one for the Dynamic Core, as shown on the earlier diagram. This next section will describe the directory structure of the Medium Range Weather app when all of these code repositories are cloned locally. This process is described in the Getting Started section of the App Repository Wiki. I'll use the listed command to clone the umbrella repository for the app, 
and then check out the external repositories using the Manage Externals tools. The warning message from Git about being in a detached head state is completely normal and expected when you check out a specific tag. This message may be ignored. Once you have moved into the top level directory, you may want to review the externals.cfg file. Recall that this file shows which external repositories to fetch and what local directories to put them in. The checkout of the externals may take a minute or two to complete. You can review and traverse the directory structure, look around, and see what's where. The key directories that are created from external repositories are circled in red in this picture. As you can see, the repository structure for this app is hierarchical and complex. The last topic for this video will be a short description of how the documentation is organized for this app. To start, the nceplibs external and nceplibs repositories are documented in the code repository wiki. From any GitHub repository, there will be a tab on the top to a wiki, although not all projects use this feature. The documentation for the app is organized by level of detail. There are quick start guides and test cases described on the GitHub wikis, there are more in-depth user's guides, and there is scientific and technical documentation. The wiki quick start guides are a good place to start to get a general idea of what this app does and how to use it. The user's guides will contain more specific information about running alternate configurations, reviewing output, and such. The technical guides have more detailed information for advanced users that want to know how the software is structured. The app user's guide has a list of most of these in section 1.6. I hope you found this video to be useful in describing the source code repositories, the directory structure, and the documentation. If you have any questions, please post them on the UFS forum.